Of course. So I want you to turn to everyone sitting next to you, right and left person, and check his hand and tell him you are awesome and it was really nice meeting you today. Go ahead. Yeah, I guess we should do the same as well. Hmm? We should do the same, yeah? <laughs> nice you meeting are you. Really awesome. Yeah. You're awesome as well. Yeah. All right. <laughs> nice meeting you. Uh, Fitton, I have a question. How can you be all this at the same time, yeah? Hmm? How can you be all this at the same time? I, that's why I'm... That's, why, that's what I'm going to speak about today. All right. Because part of my brand, my personal brand, is doing all the things at the same time. Right now, I have three full-time job, which is program manager for three international organizations. I, uh, I have my own business based on the USA in Washington, and it's uh, a coaching and consulting institute. My clients are in MENA in Europe and Africa. And at the same time, I'm a lecturer in Nottingham and uh, in China too. All right. So it's like, I was, uh, I was speaking, I was speaking uh, last Friday in an event in another university and they told me, how can you do all this? I told them we can do a small calculation, like normally we have like 160 hours each week, but according to my uh, positions, I must be doing like 200 hours. But this is not the point. This is not the point doing a lot of work or um, like ha uh, working more hours or uh, doing too much exceptional thing. I invite you to read my last article on my blog so it, you will understand much more how I do it. All right. Okay. So I'm going to leave you the floor. Uh, thank you. So thank you very much. Thank you. So to start, um, normally when I do sessions, when I wiggle, it means you have to write what I'm doing, what I'm saying right now because people just... Uh, attend events and they sit and listen and they don't write anything so that's why I tell them to wiggle here okay so what I'm gonna talk about to you is I'm the brand <laughs> we can go next so uh, we did the checking hands we can pass this to yeah what do you see here logos. brands logos, logos. Brand. Samsung yeah what else hmm? Visual identity, that is cool. What else? Websites, yeah, maybe. Hmm? Okay, can we go to the next slide, please? Yeah, what do you see here? Icons, famous people. Yeah, what is this? I love it. For whom this? <laughs> For Steve Jobs, yeah. <laughs> Me too, he's my leader. So, what do you see? Success stories. Great people. Why they are great? Hmm? They make a difference. Yeah. Uh, Steve Jobs. He has his own company. Uh, Oprah. She has. Uh, she's a businesswoman, but at the same time, talk show, show a lot of things at the same time. The president Reagan. Reagan. The reason why I put uh, his uh, picture today is I um, I read yesterday uh, the way he died. By the way, he died when he was a shooter, and they took him to the hospital. He stand like his security was trying to help him, and instead, uh, and he, he didn't accept that his security helped him. He just stayed in the car. He fixed his jacket, and then he walked it at the hospital. He stand to the press, and then went to the hospital. And when they closed the door, he was down, and he died that day. Why he did that? He was in pain. He was dying, but he was thinking about his identity about his brand, because he's the president of the United States, okay? So, I'm not, expect, I'm not here to expect from all of you to be president, which, but maybe one or two will be, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, I'm not expecting to that all of you will be CEO or president of organization. But you need to understand, and I'm not here to, to talk about how to create your brand, because, like, I'm really trying to be polite, but this is really bullshit. Someone telling you about how to create your brand and like how to be uh, uh, exceptional and all that, this is, this is really stupid and dumb because you are already exceptional and you have your own brand. Your brand is the way people talk about you, the, ba the way people gossip about you, the way they feel about you, they, they look at you, how they feel when you walk into the room. All this is your brand. I can't come now when you are like 20s or 30s and teach you how you're going to have your brand. But I can do better. 
hopefully. I can tell you how you will become your brand. People, 50%, uh, and I'm really modest saying that, because I do a lot of, I listen a lot of feedback from people and all that, they don't know about what I'm doing. I think you, do now, uh, you know now about my positions more than my best friends or my best clients. They come to me only because they ask for my help. They ask for my innovation, my creativity, my uh, kind personality. That's what they are asking for. They don't ask for my service in Glory Academy or such or such organization. Sometimes I get hired to do jobs without even signing contracts. After doing the job and performing well, they tell me, and now, which, which frame should we use to, 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 to determine the contract and to have, uh, to have your money? So that's how I work. That's how I do all those things. Because I have my personal brand. I'm the brand. And before telling you why, I, why it's uh, how to have your own brand, I'm going to tell you why it's really important to have your own brand. Because I know like, we are human beings are very egoist and lazy, and we don't do something without having something in return. So that's why I'm going to tell you why it's very important to tell people, can we go to the next slide? Yeah. It's important to have your own brand. I'm a geek. I do coaching consulting, but I'm a computer science engineer and geomatic expert, an IT expert too. So I talk a lot about statistics. Do you know that four, five, uh, four by five uh, of the economy in the world is service? Do you know that? Which means like more than 80%. And do you know that 80% of the buyers, the people who are, have credit cards, they are visual. Do you know that people who have auditive, kinesthetic, and visual people? Most of the buyers, they are visual, which, mean, which means they can't buy something or understand something without seeing it. And do you know that 90% from the decision makers, and those are statistics, and I can uh, show, send to you later uh, the source. It's very, uh, it's very credible. 90% of the decision makers, they are visual too. So, what are we gonna deal with? Is we have a service product, something that we can show to people, invisible, that we need to sell to people who are visual. And this is natural. This is not something you can hope to change. This is natural. Forever we will be like this, human being. So what we, ha we, have, what we have to do is deal with it. And the way to deal with it is you become the, the, you become the product. When I have a program, when I am looking for a fund, or I want to sell a session to an, or uh, to an organization or a company, or I want to launch a startup, it is me, the product. It is cool to have great ideas. It is cool to have talents. But this is not enough. This is not enough at all. We have a lot of people who have great skills, great uh, talents, and they just blow in the shadow. And we have also very smart people, smarter than me, and you, and many of you. But they, keep, they spend all their life under, uh, behind the desk working for someone else. There are a lot of smart people working for Steve Jobs. Why he's their leader? Because they lost, they couldn't find a way how to intersect between having this knowledge, this smart attitude, this, um, this competence, like capacities, and having a personal blend. It's very important to have them together so you can sell and you can become a great brand, a great personal brand. Can you go to the next? Yeah, the second. <laughs> The second reason, which is very complicated, a lot of things together, why you need to have your personal brand is this. Recently, like, you know, I do a lot of sessions around the world, like coaching and all, and I found people filming me videos, and some of them didn't learn a lot about copyrights and about respecting people's ideas and all that. This is nothing for them. It's just a way to gain some unfair money. So they just take me on video and they write notes, and then they want to do the same session. I have to lead it in another uh, frame, in another country, or whatever. And what is funny is like I get a lot of people who love me, hopefully, and tell me about them. 
They told me like, you know, can you, can't you see that this girl is really copying you? Like, I can see the slide you used last time in our session, or like, you said that in your last article or whatever. And knowing me, like, I'm, I'm a very, very sensitive person when it comes to integrity and copyrights and like fighting fair and getting my rights. So they saw me like, oh, I don't care. Huh? Fitton? Is it you? You really don't care? Yeah, I don't care. You know why? Because I got the answer. You said she's copying me or he's copying me. So he's nothing. Why I say that? Because I have a personal brand. This is me. People, when they say someone else, they can picture in sessions and do them like, they know he's copying me and I'm not the one copying him. When you do, for example, you write a post or a tweet something and you say, buy me, can we go to the next slides? Can we go to the next slide? Yeah. For example, you see a lot, always it's the same thing. Some people, some leaders, they have a great personal brand by keeping the same picture on, their, on all their social media, everywhere, same sentences they use. I don't use this methodology. I, I want to be like spontaneous and uh, playful and enjoy my life as much as I want. So I just, it just came spontaneous. That's the way how I want to be like with people. So that's why I take this kind of selfie or this kind of victory thing. So then, can we go to the next slide? Yeah. For example, something else besides like the copying and stealing your idea is at some point of my life, I had more haters than lovers and fun. And I was almost doing the same thing. Nothing like, uh, nothing uh, rude, nothing arrogant to people. I'm not hurting anyone, but they thought that I was really uh, abnormal. And then I understood why they saying that. They saying that because I was only sharing with them my perfect image. It's a fake image. Like, it's not really fake, it's part of Phaeton, but it's not a complete image of Phaeton. So when I post on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, that I'm always proud, this is, oh, I got this uh, reward, or I'm gonna speak to that event, all those nice things, and I don't see me crying, they don't see me, for example, uh, dampened, or like, stuff like this, they feel that I'm not normal. This person is not normal. At some point, I had people like writing my articles or following me without sending a request, a friend request, for example. And this is weird. This is weird. And don't blame people. Start reevaluating the way you are showing your brand. Because it's not only a person doing this for you. Can we go to the next slide? So that's something I... And uh, something else about personal branding is you need to, to be really true really authentic, and to say it clearly and directly with all the arrogance and all like how people may hate you or whatever. In my blog, for example, you can find John is my online nickname, Nyahaha is my online status. <laughs> two days ago, I had two participants of my program fighting about the copyright of my Nyahaha. It's my online laugh. And the guy was really like serious. He told her, no, I'm not copywriting her. I added A at the beginning of a yeah, ha, ha. So it's not the same. And it's really cool because that shows how people love your brand. Like they're trying to, uh, to, to, be, to show that you are offending. This is something that belongs to you. Also, I, uh, I write by me. Anything, any quote, any uh, idea that I share that it's my opinion, I say by me. And when someone else shares it, he has to change by me, by, by faith and belief. So this is always a direct message, same message everywhere. I don't confuse people with a lot of messages. Can we go to the next slide? Yeah. Now that you understood why it is important to have your personal brand and show it clearly, Whatever, whether they like it or not, I'm gonna tell you the three keys of a successful and strong personal brand. A personal brand is the personal identity that, personal identity, personal identity means, I'm gonna explain this more in uh, the next slide, it's about your motivation, why? why they, what is your passion? What is exceptional about you? Why they need you? Why you have to write that post? What is behind that image? of you. This is very important. It should be your personal identity, the real you. Don't make a lot of efforts. Don't play it nice. 
For example, I'm not a passionate person. I don't pretend being passionate. When someone asks me stupid question, I tell them, you are asking me stupid question. I can't, I can't lie because I know if I'm going to play nice and I keep listening, I can't keep listening for the rest of my life. This is not me. At some point, I will be nervous, I will be running to something else, and when he will ask me that, I will, uh, I will respond like spontaneously, and this is going to kill my brand because I'm not authentic. So I'll tell people the truth. They know that it's normal. If they ask me a bad question, I'll ask me, this is stupid. And he's just, okay, I will ask you later. You are angry now. And it's cool. Okay, so it's very important to have your personal identity. But if what is exceptional in your personal identity is you like him sleeping or reading novel or uh, laughing or having a lot of girlfriends at the same time, this is not cool. This is not cool at all. And you can't count on this to be your personal brand because this will have a negative response from the public. Your response to the public should be, yeah, they can be, he's arrogant, but he he's practical, he can give us results. But if he can say, say he's arrogant, is he's going to hurt us, it can't match. This is not fair. You will never have a successful brand this way. So it's very important to have a meaningful response with your audience that you're going to target very well. So it's very important. I'm good in that and that and that. And so I have to be with this group of people, this network. If I want to be a brilliant teacher, I have to have a great network of good teachers who's going to inspire me, of learners who are eager to learn and get from ex my experience. Same thing if you want to be anything else, like it's always, even when you want to be an artist. So it's very important to have qualities and values straight and clear. For me, for example, if you, if you see my brand, the first thing we'll think about is like integrity, which is really obvious. I don't care if you like me, hate you. The most important thing is I'm a person of integrity and I'm doing things the way I want. Some people will like it, others no. That's how they, want, they need to deal with me. Can we go to the next slide? So as I said, to have an authenticity, you need to work on your motivation. Why? It's me. What motivates me? How I want to be next five years? What is my passion? And then think, where I'm sitting among all that, as I told you, if I'm going to be, if I read a lot of novels, how is it going to help my audience? And then decide connections, which people who can help me, which people who can uh, add, um, who can I, I can be an adding value to their network. It's very important. You should ask yourself those three questions always so you can adapt to a clear personal brand. Last slide is, okay, I have the brand, I uh, share it with people, now I'm very known, etc. How can I evaluate? Keep observing people, have a great network with you, good friends who will tell you, oh, you, you talk too much about yourself that time. Oh, you were uh, too lazy. You didn't, you didn't show like with a positive attitude that day. See people who can give you great feedback.